Hello humans, my name is Nevitz aka the Gutter Monkey and I am back with some more Game of Thrones. We are just about to start episode 3. I'm seeing a dragon here so we are probably going to see Daenerys in this one. I'm guessing with Asher because he's an Essos. Well let's just get started. I don't really have much else to add. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father, I'm going to kill you. I don't think I Is said that. that. So? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> <laughs> God, I dread dealing with that. The blowback? My God. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. And I'm thinking maybe I should have killed him, actually. Oh, I've made so many bad decisions. And Ethan, I still, I'm still not over Ethan. She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Hey, buddy. She's my friend. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> we should Dying, save it. Though. We're better off saving this for later. Well. I hope we enjoy it. Right. We need to get moving. Well, you don't be a pig. You're all right. The Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? You really should have killed Tazar when you had the chance. Men like that don't forgive. I'm thinking I agree with her on that. Cut off his hand. Not the kind of thing a person forgets about another person. Clearly, I should have. What a prick. Yeah, and now he and 30 of his friends are nearly up our arse. Lovely, Beska. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Well, okay, a little bit of optimism would be nice. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting dear old Tazal. well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, 
It carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. That's what she thinks. standing our ground. Veska, what do you think? By all means, listen to your uncle. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. Uh, talk to Malcolm a little bit. If he'll stand still. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? Uh. We all need to work together, I guess. I don't really. None of these look interesting. We all need to pull together if we're going to get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I have the faintest idea how we're going to pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. We'll figure something out. I was asking about the caves. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. I don't want to bring up the Beshka thing because... I don't know, it just seems like... He'd take it badly. Uh... Then again, she could overhear it and take it well. I guess it could go either way. Uh, tail with it. You see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. You are all that matters to me, Asha. Beska matters to me. Let me know if you find anything. Well, that seemed to work out all right. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asha. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. If only we had Nathaniel Drake. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Should I try to climb it? I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'll just give it a shot. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. Yeah, I figured something like well, that would happen. Stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. The faster we make a plan, the better. Okay, let's go talk to Beshka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Where the hell is she? What the hell is that? Corpse. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Maybe. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground? There might be a cave nearby. Maybe someone's just taking a leak. Search him. Look at this. Well, what do we got here? Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. Let's take that. That's a nice purse of gold. Wonder who he was carrying that kind of money out here. Let's not worry about that now. We need to find cover. Well, let's grab that. He's not going to need it anymore. What in seven hells did you two do to run? He's not going to need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. Exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's them. Monte Freedom! Shit! Damn it! 
Come on! Go, go, go. Is that because I grabbed the gold? All right. Damn. If I hadn't take that, taken that gold, would we have been gone in time to not have to deal with this? What in seven hells is that smell? Completely burnt. I probably shouldn't be looking at these. I'd... Maybe someone made camp in here and cooked it. When you got somebody killed, I should have find a way out. There's a light. Go. See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off. Huh. Dragons. Oh. Eska? How come? We're friendly. Retreat, retreat. We can't fight this thing. Help her, right? Hey, hey, over here! Get away from her! Is he all right? Can you walk? I'm fine. I fought wars with worse than this. Hurry! The beast is coming around. Asha! We gotta help Run him. Hurry, Asha! We got you. Come on, come on. I had to help her because, I don't know, she's a girl. It seemed like the right thing to do. I mean, she's a tough girl, but still, uh, the guy is supposed to help the girl, right? Even if she is a hard ass.
Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness. All right. Okay, we're back at the wall. Castle Black. That's Garrett Tuttle. Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Oh. Garrett. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? Appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. Yeah, okay, just stop it's nice stealing. to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cutter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, no, we won't. aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next. You'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. You are being a jerk. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You were a jerk before you that. You'll be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Look, it's over, all right? Just drop it. You could bugger off if you like. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but he's got a now, point. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. That's probably Maybe exactly what's his. going to happen. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lowborn. To the stewards, Hugh to the rangers, Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. I would have been cool with being a builder. Seems a lot less dangerous. Are we heading out to uh, the tree? Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you, John. Thank you. I know you wanted this. Well, I'm ready to say my vows. But what is that guy's problem? I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip. They'd as soon as see me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. <laughs> now, I'd die for either of them. It's a very prescient statement. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of right fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. We're brothers now. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Oh, God. Try being less of an arse. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes, too. No one around here gives a shit about me. Be nice. I wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers I never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. 
All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Oh god. Giant wolves. It's fine. It's alright to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. Look at that. A bonding. He is so gonna die. No doubt about it. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. The gods sound like a bunch of creeps. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. Uh, this is quite a commitment. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. There's something else I could be doing here? Oh man, I don't remember this. Oh wait, do I just... Oh, it's in the order it should be it already, isn't it? Hear my words and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. Hear my words and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall, I shall take, take no, no wife, wife, hold no lands, lands father, father no children. children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear crowns no crowns and win, and no, win glory. no glory. I shall live I shall and live die and at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. That was weird how they had that set up. You as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Brother! Alright. Everyone's getting along, that's good. We're men of the watch now! Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. No, I don't want to make the wall angry. To play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? I got a visitor? Who the hell could be visiting me? Okay, that's the visitor right there, so I want to do everything else but that right now. Jon Snow's right about Man's Raider. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. I wonder who that is. I can't really tell from the back of his head. Oh, maybe it's that guy who was who I was a squire with. What was his name? Bowman? Bowden? I used to think it was called South of the Wall. Uh, 
All right, I don't think there's a lot we can do. <coughs> so let's go see the let's go see the visitor. Don't forget the practice shots. Oh. Uncle Duncan. Garrett. It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. Why are you here? I'm glad I caught you. What brings you here? A business with a night's watch. A delivery of ironwood shields to keep you all out of harm's way. Hmm. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. Apparently. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. No. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. How can I help? Turned back countless threats. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? North Grove. Just before he died, Gregor's final command spoken to you in confidence. Protect the North Grove. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. I figured you already knew about it. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. I just took the black uncle. Swore my allegiance to the Night's Watch. Even if I were to agree, somewhere north of the wall, it's not a lot to go on. How am I supposed to find it? I wasn't saying I wouldn't do it. I was the first just... chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. It's a map. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. <laughs> So is that us right there? You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? Oh. No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Oh. I just still don't get it. An elephant. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. I used to be frightened of where with trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. Yeah, I would shit myself if I came across a tree like that. Hear the werewoods whisper. Alright, so I guess we're... Oh. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. 
Oh, let's open it. Oh, yeah, wait, let's, did we look at everything on here? Uh, I think so. I had no idea this was inside. What is it? Another werewood. Huh. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Maybe. Well, I guess that's the only thing I can use it with. Okay, so I got to match something up. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Wasn't really much of a puzzle, was it? <laughs> uh, I guess it really doesn't matter what we... Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Okay. I think this is the, our only other option, anyway. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. I'll do what I can. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, got it. What happens if I get in trouble with these guys? I can't go back home. From what I understand, I once you're here, you're stuck Probably here. Like little, little shards or something. Oh, it's Wait, so left one of those like again. a weapon. Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall. <laughs> break up into little icy bits be moving pretty fast too wouldn't it I suppose Wait, so you're saying I could kill a mammoth with my piss oh, <laughs> you really are as stupid as they say aren't you Finn god fuck you Cotter Garrett let's go well, I guess they're getting along now what else can we look at over here not seeing any options. I'll talk to you. No. Uh. I don't think we can do anything. Guess we'll go talk to which one? Finn Cotter. Let's talk to Finn some more. I guess. Keep increasing that friendship. That was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. Ironwood He's business? Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. These guys are Already nosy. Keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come <laughs> on. I couldn't tell them.
I don't even think I saw an option to tell them anyway. So I literally couldn't tell them. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. It's Marjorie's Sarah, day. It will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I I know. I I didn't mean anything by it. I am such a bitch. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. She's a bastard. Someone I can trust. We have to stick together. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. I hope so. I'm going Pardon to need it. Up. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. <laughs> I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Uh. Please. I'm not asking for much. Go ahead. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. As if I'm not in enough trouble already. Uh, let's go up to him. What are you doing here? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you okay? Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. Oh god. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe. Who are they questioning? Do they know about me? I don't think so. But why would they have any reason to? One saw me. Anyway, he'll never show up again to tell them. No one will know what you did. Yeah, but somebody saw me. What? <laughs> what is it? If we're gonna survive this... A guard saw me. There can't be any details we've overlooked. There was another Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. I wonder what's this guy's We're story. We're together now. Why are you helping me? Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. Why were you there? What were you even doing there that night? I once told you. There are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Hey. Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. I'm gonna cover my tracks. So you misled him. I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... 
First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. Garibald. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. A stupid name. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace. speak out of turn, girl... I... We'll you do as you command. You start. We do as you command, Your Grace. And we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The king's guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, your grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Uh, what does she know? What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? I thought you were going to be cooler about this. I wouldn't have told you. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I shouldn't have said I that. I have to do whatever I can nope. to help them. Stop talking. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Well, her cool points just dropped. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. I don't like you anymore. She seems so much nicer before. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. Of course they are. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. Okay. They want to see us cower. What are they in doing? Our own house. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's not back from the wall yet. Then make sure Royland's there. I dread dealing with these guys. It's just so dangerous. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. What are you doing? 
<laughs> What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> enough of this. Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. Uh... One of my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. If I allow you in my hall, will that secure the peace? I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. Oh, for Christ's sake. What's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? I've seen to it your men have the same provisions mine do. Times are hard, or they're treated as guests. As they should be. This is against the king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton. Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever. We'll do what we were sent here to do. We need to make this work. You don't want to go to battle within these walls. We need to make this work. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, I don't. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't let them do this! How can I stop them? Uh, stop. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. He looks like Come a on. buff Jason Muse. Sort of. For that bad guy in uh, Ghostbusters. Griff Whitehill. That's not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if he drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the we gotta tread carefully. His roost. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. He certainly isn't. We have guys coming at us left and right. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. 
Yeah, that's true. They got our brother. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. I don't know, I kind of trusted her. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Uh, nuts. Okay. Save Ryan. I think Ryan's okay, actually. Spell Griff. <laughs> Are those our only options? I really do. Th I think Ryan's okay right now. But I can totally see this game killing him just because I didn't make this choice. It just seems like something to do. But Gwen said he was all right. Oh, God. I'm going to expel Griff because I'm trusting Gwen right now. And I really hope it doesn't bite me in the ass. I'm doing the expel thing. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? He's safe. If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. That's our best Forgive option. Me, my lady. If we do nothing, we are dead on our feet. Our enemies are not just at our gates. They are within them. We must secure Ironrath. So we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Exactly. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitehills are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. We may not have a choice. We have to go to battle before we're ready. We risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare and men to train. My lord? Things are going to get so bad, I can feel it already. Worse than Lord, they are, probably. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I trust her, actually, so I understand yes. your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows, for now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. Well, here's hoping. When time comes. Okay. I want the dove. All right, that's all I have time for right now, but I will be back with some more Game of Thrones. Adios. I would be your muggy main mama. 
just can't climb no coconut tree. I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't climb no coconut tree. Claws ain't sharp enough. My claws ain't sharp enough. I break down with you, dizzy mouse. But I don't get on my happy black knee. 